heart wrenching that someone would do that to any animal at all. Um, and but it happens. It happens quite frequently. A Central Arkansas vet clinic dealing with a string of disturbing animal abuse cases. The latest one: a puppy shot in the head and then dumped in the trash. Thank you for joining us today at 5 or 1 on Bob Clawson. And I'm Ashley Ketz. KRK4 Susan L. Corey is working on this story for you tonight. She just got back from Jacksonville where one vet is now footing the bill to help take care of these pets. Got Bob and Ashley and that's all because the city animal shelter can't afford the care some of these pets need. On top of that, almost every day there's a new abuse case ranging from a dog thrown out of a moving car to several who were sexually assaulted. <laughs> Most names have a meaning, and Remy's, short for Remington, definitely tells a story. Shot the dog on the top of the head, right behind the ear there. It's a naming technique Doreen Borman uses to help keep track of the hundreds of abused pets that come through Eubanks Animal Clinic. Some nights it's hard to go to sleep. Every day, the Jacksonville vet sees a new abuse case. But in the past year, she says they've been more disturbing. We actually had one dog in here that was brought in um, that had uh, was a possible molestation by the owner. We don't know what's going on in the minds of these people. Cages at the city's shelter are full. Animal control officers bring in nearly 100 dogs a month, and they're racking up tens of thousands of dollars in vet bills. We don't want to euthanize, and we don't do that yet, but there will be that you have to because you cannot stop it. Eubanks has an open-door policy for the shelter, even if it can't afford treatment. We are a family here, so to us, the pets come first. Remy learned that firsthand. The three-month-old showing few signs of being shot and dumped in a trash can. We get them better and get them out the door and get them homes, forever homes. That's our job. With her name, a reminder of just how far she's come. <laughs> Animal Control will investigate each case, but tell me it's hard to get police involved since many times there isn't a witness, or if there is, that person doesn't come forward. Back to you. We certainly hope there's some change in that, Susan. Thanks very much. A reminder, if there is something that you'd like us to look into, feel free to call our tip line. The number's right there on your screen. You can also email workingforyou at krk.com. We'll do what we can.